Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. I hope you will learn something from this video. And don't forget to like, subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you. Hi, in our today's video, pag-uusapan naman natin is yung topic about synthetic division. Ano ba importance or bakit ba meron tayong synthetic division? Actually, this one is a replacement for the long division. So, paano ba ginagawa ang synthetic division? We have here in item number 1, x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4 divided by x minus 1. First thing you need to do is yung divisor natin, which is x minus 1, ay equate lang natin by 0. And then solve for the value of x, mag-add lang tayo both sides ng 1, you will have x is equal to 1. At yung 1 na makuha natin, nilalagay natin dito. Tapos, mag-create lang tayo ng gantong klaseng separation para mapakita natin yung solution. So, anong nilalagay natin dito sa ating parang box? So, dito, maglalagay ko ng 1. Kukunin lang natin yung coefficients ng ating dividend. So, nilagay natin dito yung 1. Mula dito, which is 1. And then, next number is cube, or 3. Ito na yung tricky part. Ito yung kalimitang problem. Kung mapansin nyo, we have the first term of our dividend as x cube. Second term is x squared. At nawawala sa atin dito yung term, which is x. Since hindi nagpapakita or wala sa given natin yung term na mayroong x, ilalagay nyo dito dapat ay 0. And then, your negative 4, which is the constant. So, paano ba yung solution? Una, i-bring down muna natin yung first coefficient, which is 1. And then, multiply it by 1. 1 times 1 is 1. Ilalagay natin dito. And then, you will add this number. It will become 4. And then, 4 times 1. So, you have... 4. And then, 0 plus 4, you will get 4. And 4 times 1, you will have 4. At kapag inad niyo yung negative 4 and 4, you will have 0. Yung last number natin, this is the remainder. The remainder is 0. So, hindi pa tayo tapos. And after nyan, kailangan natin ibalik yung coefficients or transform yung numbers na to into a polynomial expression. Since nag-start tayo sa cube, or the highest exponent of our dividend is cube, ibibring down lang natin ng isa, or babawasan natin yung isang exponent. So therefore, we will start at x squared. And then, ito naman, that is plus 4x. At yung isang 4, this is your constant. This is the quotient when you divide x cubed plus 3x squared minus 4 by x minus 1. Okay? So, nakakuha po ba natin yung ating solution? Let's go with item number 2. For our item number 2, we have here x to the 5th power plus 3x cubed minus 4x divided by x minus 2. Same thing na kailangan yung gawin is yung divisor natin, which is x minus 2, you will equate it by 0. So you have x minus 2 be equal to 0. And then solve for the value of x, mag-add lang tayo ng 2, both sides of the equation. So magiging 0 na to, your x is equal to positive 2 or 2. So lagay natin dito yung 2, at gawa tayo ng separation box. So, punta na natin dito. Yung ating dividend, ang kanyang first coefficient is 1. Since wala yung x to the 4th power na term, ilalagay natin ay 0. And then, yung sa, sa x cubed, yung coefficient niya is 3. At wala uli yung ating x squared, you will have 0. For the x squared at negative 4 
and then 0 for the missing constant or wala ta kasi tayong constant. So, bring down muna natin yung 1 natin dito. So, you have 1. 1 times 2, you will have 2. And then 0 plus 2, you will get 2. 2 times 2, you will have 4. Then adding this number, 3 plus 4, you have 7. And then 7 times 2, you will get 14. Add natin yung 0 saka 14, you will have 14. And then 14 times 2, you will get 28. So add natin tong dalawang to, you will have 24, right? And then lastly, 24 times 2, this is 48. And 0 plus 48, the answer is 48. This number 48 is your remainder. Ngayon, i-transform na natin itong mga coefficients na to into a polynomial expression. Since we started with 5th power, i-decrease na natin ng 1 or bawasan natin ng isa yung ating power. So we will start at x to the 4th power. So, in coefficient 21, so we have x to the 4th power plus 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 14x plus 24. At para, at if ever na meron kayong remainder or kung meron kayong remainder, which is sa problem natin ay 48, ang gagawin nyo lang dito, i-add nyo lang siya sa ating polynomial equation, ay expression, at ilagay nyo sa numerator yung 48, at ang inalagay sa denominator ay yung ating divisor, which is x minus 2. This is the answer for item number 2. So, kung meron kayong question about our topic today, you can comment down below. And maraming salamat sa mga sumusuporta. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Again, I am, it, I am Teacher Gone.